In this lesson, we'll look at using FXDRAW's geometrically aware drawing system to its full effect. First question then is, what is GAD? GAD is FXDRAW's geometrically aware drawing system that predicts what you want to join up to. So as I'm drawing, it might say, for example, find points of common tangent and allow you to draw them quickly and effectively. GAD understands a lot about geometry. If you're drawing lines, it will automatically find midpoints, endpoints, quarter points, third points, or allow you to draw a line that starts exactly from a point on the line. Understands perpendiculars, parallels, equal length lines. angle bisectors. It also understands things like the centres of circles, points on a circle, tangents to circles, foci of ellipses. Always remember that GAD is just a tool and it's not always the right one. If, for example, you're trying to draw a grid, using the GAD system, you'll find that GAD sometimes starts to get in the way. It'll start finding perpendiculars and third points and quarter points, and it just gets messy. In this case, you're probably better to just turn it off and just use the underlying grid. Now, all your start and end points will be on grid points, and drawing the grid becomes easy. Perhaps the most important trick to using GAD effectively is don't get too close. Let's look at an example. Here I've drawn a line and I want my next line to start at the end of this one. As I move around, FX Draw will find things like the end of the line, a quarter point on the line, and it's telling me down in the bottom left corner of the screen what it's found. If I want to start on the end of the line, and I go there, which is fairly close, but it's also very close to a point on the line, and that's what FX Draw's found. And if I'm trying to be too accurate, it jumps between end points and points on the line. If, when, if instead I come from outside, oop, there, it's picked up the end point of the line. I'm miles away from it. In summary, GAD does a better job when you don't try to be too accurate. Lastly, let's look at infinite GAD and the infinite GAD button. So what is it? If I start drawing lines, every line I draw increases the number of relationships that FX draws looking at. It's finding points of intersections, like that one, but also hundreds of other relationships. And the numbers of relationships and points dramatically increases as I increase the number of figures on my canvas. Eventually, and it's a way to go yet, still finding it intersections, ah, it's just getting too hard and FX draw starts turning things off because there's just too much to look at each time you add a line. But we can tell FX Draw to keep going regardless by turning on unlimited or infinite GAD. And now, if I add a line, it's still finding points of intersection between all of those lines on screen. And adding more lines doesn't stop it. It's still finding points of intersection. Whereas if I turn off infinite GAD, it's no longer finding those difficult points of intersection. GAD is a great tool that just requires a little bit of practice and experimentation. FX Draw lets you draw everything you need to do the job quickly and easily. You can find more information at ffx.com.